interesting behavior. Guys, write in the comments below if you have had Neolamprologus tetracephalus before and you've successfully spawned them. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So a couple weeks back, I announced that I'm on Instagram. So if you'd like to get more frequent updates with what's happening in the fish room or see some of the photos I've taken over the years, be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'll be posting there more frequently, more than once a week, more frequently than I do on YouTube, which is our video once a week. So if you'd like more regular updates, make sure you're following me on Instagram. Anyway guys, with this week's video, I thought I'd show you what's happening with the Neolamprologus tetracephalus. Obviously last week there was some spawning activity and I want to give you an update on what's happened with those fish. So let's get into this week's video. There are eggs in this tank and I have just noticed them. I've just gotten home from work and I've noticed that, uh, yeah, they, I, I saw the eggs on the glass and then I saw that there was eggs on the rock. So guys, the Tourette's spawn is fertile. You can see all the eggs under there beating away. Uh, there's mum tending to her fry, good sign. This is the best uh, spawn I've seen, most, the most success with the hatch rate. Uh, maybe, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Not gonna disturb them too much. This tank, I've had the light off on the tank for the last two days. Just turned off, there's the dad. Just saw his tail go under here. And uh, mum over there in the corner. So yeah, it's the most light I've had on the tank. So let's have a look at the tank today. Either all the fry have been moved, or they've been eaten. Oh, there's a wriggler there. Let's see it beating away on its little tail. So have the fry moved further in the cave or have they been eaten? Hopefully they've just been moved somewhere else. There's mum. Maybe she's moved them in under there. I don't want to disturb her too much. But I would like to have some peace of mind. See where the fry are. Maybe they've been eaten again. Who the hell knows? Uh, I don't have much luck with these guys. Maybe she's moved them into that cave there. Where she's hovering around. That is my only hope. They still have their yolk sac so that I don't need feeding. This will be 24 hours since they've hatched out of the shell. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this light off and stop filming and let them be. Guys, day three of this spawning activity with my trets. Using the camera on my phone really helps to get an angle, a better angle in this position because it's hard to get down low here. I can see there's one wriggling fry there. Well, that's all I can see is that one. The female's back here again. I assume there, there must be fry in here somewhere else, but there's just that one still. Oh no, there we go. There's a couple there wiggling. Sorry for the sh shaky camera. There we go. There's two there wiggling. I don't see any further in there. We've dug heaps of pits underneath these rocks. So they could put the fry anywhere, but again, I don't want to disturb them for too long. But I would love to have some peace of mind to know if the fry are okay. So this is the Neolamprologus tetracephalus tank. It's actually the first time I've turned the light on on this tank in the past, for the past two or three days. Now, I haven't checked the cave where the fry were. Today, I haven't checked it yet, uh, I, no, and I will. However, I've noticed something really odd in this aquarium. 
and I'm pretty surprised. So just to increase the exposure because it's quite dark. Look at all the, how all the fish are behaving. It's quite unusual. They, you know, they are chasing each other around. They're not tearing fins off each other like they usually do. So that's the big male. And I think I've got multi, multiple females in this aquarium, and I think he's spawning with multiple females in the aquarium. And I didn't know Neil Amprologus tetracephalus would do that. The reason why I think that now is because of that, if the focus is, there's eggs on this rock. Now they're hard to tell which is what is eggs and what is uh, pull filter sand, but you can definitely see hopefully clearer there, what are the eggs and what is the pool filter sand. There is a egg on there as well, as you can see. So they spawn on this side of the aquarium. You can definitely see that some aren't fertile. You can see that they're right in the center frame there. There's a chunk of eggs that have got some fungus on them. And um, so there's possibly two females in this aquarium and that male is spawning with both of them and I'm very surprised I didn't didn't expect that and it's the first time I've seen eggs in two different parts of the aquarium at the same time kind of at the same time I mean they spawn there three or four days ago now and now there's a spawn here so definitely it's not the same female it would be two different females. And the way that the male is acting with the other fish, again, he's not tearing off shreds off either of them. So, interesting behavior. Guys, write in the comments below if you have had Neil Amprologus tetracephalus before and you've successfully spawned them, have you seen this behavior before where a male will spawn multiple females in the one aquarium? So I'm going to check now if there are any frying in this cave. So let's put the flash on and have a look. Any wriggling fry here today? Can't see any there. And apologies for the shaky hand, guys. It's just hard to keep steady in this position down here. But I'm actually getting a better view through the mobile phone uh, than looking straight into the aquarium. There's quite a bit of algae on the sides of the tank here. So I can't see any fry here. Who knows what's happened to them. If they're deep inside uh, the cave here, maybe. Uh, in that cave there, I don't know. Maybe the competing females have eaten each other's spawns. I don't know. But there's definitely two females in here, at least, that he's spawning with. And I did not know that. He's always spawned with that female. She's the more dominant female in this aquarium. And now I know there's another female in this tank. And it's possibly... It's one of these two, obviously. You can see their guts are hollow now that they have, don't have any more eggs in them. Uh, and I'm trying to see the eyes, ovipositor. And that one there has its ovipositor extended. So, so it's possibly this female who has laid these eggs on this rock. I mean, it's possible that all the fry are in, are in this cave with the male. I suspected that last time they spawned, but it wasn't to be. So, I don't know what to do with these guys. <laughs> Maybe it is the competing females that are eating the fry of the other female, but I don't know. Maybe I need to take the fry out. Uh, I've tried taking the fry out before and they haven't survived. I've done it two or three times. It's never worked for me. So... Yeah, do I keep persisting with them? This is a four foot tank by two foot wide by two foot deep. Uh, I 
could be using it for other things, you know. Uh, fry grow out, uh, breeding other fish. Um, these guys are beautiful. I just don't know whether I should keep persisting with them. For the amount of effort that it is, that it, that time it takes up to get these guys to spawn, and then it's months and months and months of trying to get them to spawn, and then the fry just disappearing basically overnight. Is it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a sucker for punishment, I guess. And I love a good challenge. And these guys are challenging the breed. I find them... They're not as hard to... I mean, they're harder to... They're harder to spawn than... I, I would say that they're harder to spawn than Calvus are. And then the Alto Lampologus Calvus. But raising the fry, I've had no success at all with these and maybe it's just the fish that I have uh, they're just not good at being parents <laughs> um, I don't know uh, you know look at the interaction between these two uh, that's the, that's, that female there he is the dominant female who always spawns with that male but obviously the male is uh, kind of gone behind her back here and spawn with another female. Or maybe a female has laid some eggs and they haven't been fertilised. Because that female here, she used to spawn by herself with that male fertilising the eggs. Uh, she did that on about three occasions before he cottoned on with what he was meant to do. And uh, So maybe there is another female in the tank that is spawning by herself, but it's possible that he has spawned with another, with another female. And I'm just guessing that by the way he's reacting with the other fish in the tank. Not being overly aggressive with them. Now look at these two girls. I think I think that's the two. That's the two females, I think. We'll explain their size as well. You know, and why he has probably killed off killed any of the of these treads off, potentially because they're all female. I suspect that they were potentially other males, but because they're subdominant, they didn't grow as large as the most dominant fish in the tank. He's stunted their growth through his dominance and they've stayed small, but maybe they are three females, which is, in which case is a pretty lucky, happy coincidence. Maybe if there was a male in this tank, he would, he would kill it. Interesting. Anyway, I won't keep going on with this video, but there you go. I don't hold much hope for those eggs there. Uh, maybe if they do, if the fry do hatch and they're still there, I might uh, take them out of the aquarium and uh, try to hatch them in a, in a grow out. But every time I've tried that before, it's never worked, so I don't know. So there you have it, guys, the update with my trets. I really hope you enjoyed that video and found it informative. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe buttons. I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.